Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my weekly look at uh, E-mini S&P Futures, ES. And I'm going to just have a quick look using the Elite Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader platform. It is also available on Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts. So um, just, to, just to remind you, we are in a very strong bullish weekly channel here, which we tested last week here, as, as you can see. Now, more closely on the daily, we are respecting the center line of the weekly channel. I also have this that we discussed last week as well, this longer term trend line, which seems to be holding just underneath the center line of the weekly channel as well and last week it did hold we did venture outside but it did come back even the big bearish day on friday uh, when we got trumped um, we we still respected there and closed just above that so how did that look on the 60 minute remember last week i said we'd be looking for a way for failure to go high if not we'd be looking for shorts down into the fifth wave zone and that's exactly what happened so on monday we got the signal from our new um version three which is a stochastic signal the red there and we sold off into the wave five trade um, target zone that we talked about last week it did rebound off there for the rest of the week really and we've got this shorter term trend line now starting to form even with the big bearish day on friday here we did seem to hold reasonably well this bit here you see uh, from this high um, that was the um, the another trump tariff announcement and then overnight we seem to recover a little bit and then when the session opened friday we did sell off but we got that higher support level uh, we seem to have formed a bit of a trend line here and we would look for Monday to, to bounce. Now, we, we can have to start the wave count again Monday down at these lows at this wave one. And we're looking for a rebound. I'm making this video on Sunday, so I don't know what the what the futures are going to be like. Um, but I, I would suspect our main target initially is to get back up above this weekly center line of this channel. Um, and then we're going to test this this high here and then we're going to look for a pullback so everybody that's using the indicator suite um, for next week uh, obviously you're going to be trading and I trade the ES and NQ off the five minute using the Elliott Wave indicator suite but this overview video just gives you an idea of what I'm going to be looking at for next week so I'm tr looking for for the bullish trades I'm looking for uh, this using this new stochastic strategy that we've got but also, uh, you know, on the five minute time frame, we'll, we'll be looking for uh, getting above this 2642 sort of level of the center line of the weekly channel there. Uh, conversely, if we break this uh, low, we could come back down and test the 2560 level. But, uh, you know, all things being equal, we should see a little bit of a bounce on Monday, depending if there's any more Trump tweets on Sunday. So all I would do is look look for the long, start your wave count again, no matter which indicator suite you're using, start your wave count again um, at, at this low here, around about 2585 um, and on the six minute time frame to give you an idea if we start off in a bullish trend and that will give you uh, chances to uh, trade that um those potential fifth waves on the shorter time frames. So that's it for this week. Have a great trading week and I'll speak to you all um, next Sunday.